Hello everyone. Today I'm reviewing a new Pokemon game that you can download from 7X Game. I'll guide you on how to download the game on the 7X Game app, as many of you don't know how to do it. First, you need to download the 7X app, and I'll leave the link in the description. Step 1. Click on the 7X icon to download games from China. There are a lot of games available here. To log in, click on Me, and then enter your email address. I've hidden my email for a reason, so I hope you all understand. After that, go to your Gmail to copy the code. The email will look something like this. That's it. Now you just need to click on the search section, type the name of the game, and it will appear. Why am I recommending this app to you? Because it offers exclusive in-game promotions and gift codes from the app. Now, let's get back to the main part. This game is called Pokemon Burst, and you can play it on Android. My first impression when entering the game is that the graphics are quite eye-catching, but it feels familiar. I've played so many games that I don't remember exactly, but it feels very familiar. The gameplay is similar to other turn-based fighting games. You just need to level up your heroes in the early stages and build a strong team to attack the enemy's Pokemon. Battles usually happen very quickly. In general, you'll need good strategies to increase your chances of winning, and you also need to understand the Pokemon. Since I've worked on many Pokemon games, I have some knowledge about it. Strong early game Pokemon that can help you include uh, Gyarados, Pikachu, Butterfree, etc. Make sure to focus on leveling them up, evolving them, and increasing their star levels. The game is quite accessible to players because it's lightweight and you can play it during your free time or even while working. You just need to turn on your phone and let it auto battle. However, the game can be a bit boring since this gameplay style has been used in many other games already. It's more suited for those who are busy with work and life. The game is mostly fun and lighthearted with cute characters. It's good for relaxing after a tiring day. One of the standout features is the game's daily rewards, including online rewards. As you progress, you'll receive even more rewards, so make sure to complete as many chapters as possible. As for the graphics and sound, in terms of graphics, I find the game leans toward a 3D cartoon style, so the characters are designed in great, great detail and are quite cute. The colors are very eye-catching, and the skill effects of the Pokémon are well-crafted. The backgrounds are beautiful, but there are quite few of them, with most being repeated. Compared to other games of the same genre, it's relatively better since there's been investment in 3D design, while most games in this genre only use 2D artwork. The gameplay speed in this game is faster and smoother than others, with less screen stuttering or lag. As for the sound, I turned off the game's music because I was afraid of copyright issues. I did listen to the music, and it's similar to other Pokemon games, but some tracks are quite lively, especially the battle music, which is very enjoyable. Additionally, the sound effects are pretty good, making the game feel more engaging. However, most of the sound effects are borrowed from the Pokemon anime or other Pokemon games. Overall, the graphics and sound are acceptable. The advantages of the game include beautiful graphics, decent entertainment value, engaging sound, and it's perfect for Pokemon fans. It's available on Android, which is a popular operating system. However, since the game is from China, not many people outside the country know about it, so building a player community may be a bit challenging. The 7X game app has addressed this issue by allowing you to send a link to your friends so you can play together. On the downside, the game can get a bit boring if played for a long time because the gameplay style is quite old and many games follow this same formula. However, with the attractive character designs, I think you'll still find it enjoyable. My conclusion is, this game is suitable for Pokemon fans and it has beautiful graphics that will appeal to those who enjoy a cartoon style. The game is easy to play and understand, but it may not be for those who love exploration or are looking for high-end graphics like in Black Myth Wukong. Since it's a free game, it's accessible to many players, but the unoriginal gameplay may cause players to leave the game. If you're looking for something just to relax with, 
you can download and play this game. I'd give this game a score of 70, 76, 100. What's your rating? Comment below. Now let's watch a bit more gameplay. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got you! 